Thank you, Steve. Uh, thank you so much uh, for all the work you've done. I just wanted to take a moment here to, to recognize the National Center for Supply Chain Automation. Um, I think you all are familiar with the Manufacturing Skills Standards Council. Uh, we're an industry-led nonprofit national certifying body, and we operate under the highest level of third-party accreditation. And we maintain the very highest levels of quality assurance. And uh, we actually uh, are accredited under ISO standard 17024. And we've been accredited both by the American National Standards Institute and by our current accrediting body, International uh, Accreditation Services Group, IAS. And I mention that because uh, when I say I want to uh, you know, uh, express my special thanks to the National Center for Supply Chain Automation, particularly Steve and your full team there, uh, we could not have done, we could not have developed these three certifications without uh, NCSCA. And, you know, we, we go through this very rigorous process of first sitting down with subject matter experts that do this for a living. And they define, identify, and validate the standards. And we use these standards to go on to uh, use them as a blueprint for our assessments. Uh, we also use their assistance in the development of both the e-learning and hands-on skill boss device, which Paul Perkins will be speaking talking about um, and also enabling input from industry and career path uh, demand so what what is the demand in this um, this occupation so uh, with that said I just want to express my thanks again to Steve and NCSCA um, we, we consider as a, we, we, we consider ourselves the national gold standard and what we mean by that is is, is our we maintain the highest levels of quality assurance as I mentioned um, and, and and part of that uh, under our ISO accreditation, uh, goes back to our early initiative years. Um, we were nominated under the National Skill, Stand uh, National Skill Standards Act back in 1998. Uh, we were federally mandated to work with all sectors of manufacturing originally to develop our certified production technician program, which was probably one of the largest uh, private public um, workforce initiatives. We involved over se 700 corporations. They in turn worked with us and provided us about 4,000 workers to develop our, our initial production standards, which had to be industry-wide core competency standards. Our standards were federally endorsed by the National Skills Standards Board in 2001, when we were originally incorporated. Uh, to give you an idea of our growth over the years, we, we started out uh, as a self-sustaining certifying body in, in 2006. After seven years of development, uh, we had about 16 testing centers. I'm happy to mention today that we have over 2,700 uh, trained instructors. Uh, we have close to 1,780 authorized test sites in all 50 states. And most of, our, most of our customers are community colleges, career centers, high schools. We also have a network of about 75 field reps in all 50 states. And again, I'll reemphasize our ISO 17024. And you know, ISO standards are really a sort of an internal management system that we're required to form that our auditors uh, review every year. And the application is very rigorous. And for example, we're required every other year to maintain our standards. So it's not uncommon for us to work with over, over 100 subject matter experts every other year to maintain our certification programs. We're also required to perform an item analysis every year for our assessments. So there's a lot that goes behind the scenes with maintaining the highest international standard, which is 17024. Um, in terms of our existing certifications, uh, we have, as I mentioned, our certified production technician, which is uh, the CPT. That's combined with our latest, um, last year we announced our Certified Production Technician Plus, or hands-on certification that sits on top of that. We have our Certified Logistics Technician certification to prepare people for material handling occupations. And our Certified Forklift Technician that, would, that we, we recently launched at the end of last year. And of course, today's um, presentation or webinar is gonna be around our newest uh, certifications, Certified Technician Supply Chain Automation. Again, this collaboration, and again, this has taken many years. Uh, our partnership uh, with NCSCA has been fantastic. We also worked with Material Handling Industries. We've worked very closely with Amatrol, who's been our partner in, in most of our certifications for many years, going back 14 years at least, and the Material Handling Equipment Distributors Association, MAHIDA. Um, so this S the CTSCA, just looking at the formal definition, is a person who installs, operates, supports, upgrades or maintains the automated material handling equipment and systems to support the supply chain. And as a national certifying body, 
uh, we, we have a very comprehensive system for all of our certifications. And again, this goes back to our quality assurance. So again, the first step is industry defined, nationally validated standards. Uh, we have courseware, we have instructor training, we have our assessments, our credentials themselves, and we also maintain a registry of all of our certificates and our instructors and all of our assessment centers. So the CTSCA is made up of three certifications. Uh, the first is uh, equipment maintenance, maintaining equipment systems. The second is the equipment repair, installing, modifying, troubleshooting, and repairing equipment systems. The CTSCA network repair is installing, modifying, troubleshooting, and repairing basic controllers and networks. Here's a kind of a snapshot of sort of the key activities of each of these. And I don't need to read all of these out to you out loud, but I'll put, put them up here just for a few minutes. And then of course you'll have, um, you'll have access to this presentation as well. Equipment repair, key activities, troubleshoot machines, repair for repair, repair mechanical, electrical, install, move, or remove equipment. And Paul Perkins will be going in more detail on these. Um, Again, network repair, install and maintain PLCs and PLC modules. So what, what's, how, how are these certifications uh, comprised? What, how, do, how, how, do you, how, how are they made up, if you will? What, are the, what is the model? So each of the three certifications that I've mentioned, uh, first uh, requires um, an e-learning component with a wonderful e-learning material developed by Amatrol. It also requires um, interacting and this is really project-based learning in its, in, its, in its most fantastic form in the sense that the e-learning is interacting with the SkillBoss logistics device, which Paul will be describing here. And it's really project-based learning is one of the strongest ways to learn. And so it's a combination of both e-learning and hands-on skills on the SkillBoss logistics device. You, cannot, you must have both the e-learning and the SkillBoss logistics device to put anyone through any of these three certifications. So the, in terms of the assessment process, there are two assessments involved in earning each of these certifications. One is a 90 to 120 minute written assessment online based on the e-learning. And the second is a hands-on performance-based assessment using the Amatrol SkillBoss logistics device. Now we also uh, will have uh, CTSCA instructor training Master training sessions will be held at Amatrol. What we're hoping is to have the master trainers go back to their different sections and regions in the country and at a local level be able to provide instructor training to the CTA, CTSCA instructors in their region. So hopefully building a local network of instructors throughout the country. So what is the value for uh, a skill boss device. We have two. We have our skill boss production for our certified production technician plus hands on program. And we have the skill boss logistics device, which Paul Perkins will be describing here shortly. So remember, we have to maintain the highest um, quality assurance. We, because we have close to 1,780 assessment and training centers in all 50 states, we have anywhere from three to 4,000 certificates going through our program every month. So we have to maintain a high level of quality. We have to be able to replicate that quality all around the country. So we, have to, we had to choose one device and one set of e-learning to go through and offer this quality and maintaining that quality throughout the entire country. So we were very fortunate, of course, to partner with Amatrol on the SkillBoss logistic device. And we're able to replicate the same quality of training and assessment throughout the entire country. This also goes back to our ISO 17024 requirement for quality assurance, and also to maintain the same level of instructor training and very consistent delivery of our assessments. So the, the national certification increases, let me just, sorry, it's something in my way here. So, um, we, we, the, one of the advantages to the system that we have in the SkillBoss logistics device is that it, it makes technician training accessible to a much larger number of schools, company training centers, and also there's a lot of talk these days about equitable programs, equity, rural and urban areas. This SkillBoss logistics device can sit on a table 
Uh, it'll actually be built on and come with a, a table. It's, it is portable, it's heavy, but it can be portable. And it allows for a learning experience at a very nominal cost. And I say that, and it's, it's, it's not without cost, but if you look at the costs involved in building, let's say a full manufacturing training lab with you know, pause machines, industrial, you know, welding equipment, uh, hydraulics, pneumatics, PLC training, and, and so forth, you're looking at, at several million dollars. We're able with this one device to provide uh, for the most sophisticated hands-on and e-learning experience combined with three certifications at a local level and for schools that would not otherwise have several million dollars to offer this kind of really advanced training for these uh, supply chain distribution centers throughout the country. Again, we've already been implementing our certified production technician uh, plus uh, skill boss production device throughout the country. This is an idea of what our, 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 our or we call skill boss manufacturing device looks like. And you can see it's run by a PLC. This is a polishing device. Uh, it allows students multiple learning experience and covers a lot of the, uh, the, the elements of, of, of and basics of mechatronics. So our students can not only get excited in a classroom environment about these career paths, but it prepares them for a much higher level learning to go on to, let's say, get an AS degree in mechatronics or welding or machining and build on their career path. But really what we're doing so well with these, both the, the Skill Boss Logistics pro Program, CTSCA, is we're preparing people for success in these career paths and really the very beginning of a, of a career path that can go on to a higher and higher levels. So um, this is my contact information. And on that said, I'd like to turn this over to Paul Perkins and thank you, uh, 